Okay folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate a histogram with JASP. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to open up a new database. Go to the top left corner where it says show main menu, select open, and under the data library, we're gonna go with descriptives. You'll see that there's only one database in here for sleep. This is an example data set. And for the assignment, you'll be using assigned data sets that I give you or ones that you need to generate. So please just make sure you're familiar with that. So once we're in the sleep data set, our goal is to be able to generate a histogram. To generate the histogram, we're gonna to go to the descriptives features first. Once we're in the descriptive statistics field, we're gonna take the extra variable and move it to the variables box. You can drag it over or you can use the caret to move it over. Once that's done, you're gonna go down to where it says basic plots and click the caret. From there, you're gonna click on distribution plots and you'll see that the histogram is going to present itself very nicely. So on the x-axis, you have the variable of extra, which represents the hours of sleep a person gets, and y represents the counts, how many people represent those extra hours, minus two, zero, plus two, plus four, plus six hours. But remember, the problem is that we do not see the normal curve here. So we have a hard time determining whether or not our distribution is bell-shaped, symmetrical, asymptotic, and continuous. To do that, we can go ahead and select display density and the normal curve will distribute itself very nicely. Now, when you look at this, you may say to yourself, well, that doesn't look very much like a normal distribution, Dr. B. So what other ways do we have to verify whether that distribution is normal or not normal? Well, if you remember from the lecture videos, one of the things that we can do is we can run what's called a skewness and a kurtosis statistic. So under the statistics box, go ahead and select statistics. And underneath the statistics, you can check the skewness and the kurtosis box. If you were to do that, you would then need to take the quotient of the skewness, 0.452, and divide it by its standard error of 0.512. Similarly, for the kurtosis, you would have to take the quotient of negative 0.775 divided by its standard error of 0.992. And what you would find, that the data is neither skewed nor kurtotic, because the value is not larger than plus or minus 1.96. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you all in the next one.